Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be going over something that I probably should have done first before I introduce everyone over to Perky Crew, and that is how to get onto the server um, without having any issues. So what we're going to do today is first off, we're going to go over and we are going to do the first thing you need to do before you do anything else, and that is start off on eqemulator.org. So as you can see, I'm already logged in here, but what you'll want to do is if you don't have a login yet here, if this is your first emulated server that you're trying out or anything like that, what you'll want to do is you'll want to start your process by creating an account. It will ask you for an email. The email will send you a verification. And once you get the verification, you'll head over, create your password, all that kind of stuff. And then you will be logged in to the eqemulator.org website now once here the next step don't leave yet once here the next step is to go over to login server accounts on the left side and you'll want to click create account now once you do this that is the account name and password that you will log into your your everquest server with which will be the perky crew so don't log in with your name and password over here that you created for the website. You'll want to go over to login server accounts, create account. And at that point you'll type in your server name or your, you know, your username and your password for what you want to use to log into Perky. So going next, we're going to go over to the discord account. And once you're in the discord, main chat's going to be right here. But where you want to go is you actually want to go over to welcome. So once you get to the welcome tab, you'll see a couple of things here as you scroll up and down that you can download. So this right here is going to be the actual patcher for the server itself. This is going to be the ROF2 client. And down here, you're going to have the website, which I've already got pulled up over here as well as a graphics fix for the, it's just like a four times speed thing. I don't have that issue. I've, I use the NVIDIA card, but if you do use AMD cards or anything like that, then this may be an issue for you um, where your characters are going like super fast. Um, as well as down here, you will have your macro quest download. And this is going to be the additional program that you are allowed to run. It gives you um, your, maps will show you where things are it gives you the ability to control your box client if you wanted to use a box most people don't on this server but if you did want to you can send your box um, certain commands things like that so i went ahead and got everything downloaded before i made the video that way you guys don't have to sit here and watch me download it so what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and start up and i'm going to create a whole new um, EverQuest file, just so you guys can see this in real time and not just take my word for it that it works. So let's go ahead and pull up the downloaded file that I got. And it's going to be right here. So we'll go ahead and click on this. And then you are going to want you're going to want to extract this. I extracted it already, and we're going to go over to where it is extracted. I went ahead and put it right here in my D drive under testing ROF2. So once in, you'll go ahead and run this as an administrator. Press any key to continue. And it's going to start the 8.9 gigabyte download here for the actual ROF2 client. So we don't need to actually do that because we've already got the client installed. So what we are going to do is we're going to go ahead and go over here and I'm going to show you guys what to do with the patcher. So once the patcher is uh, downloaded, what you will do is you'll take that patcher and we'll go ahead and see how it says that you want to run this. Well, you don't want to run it on the desktop. You want to take it and you want to put it in the folder that you just created 
for your ROF2. So what you're going to do, let's just do this testing ROF2. And let's just say that this is the folder. You'll take the Perky crew. You're gonna pop this in here and then you're gonna run it. Now, once you run it with everything in here, at that point is when it's going to actually pop up. Well, I don't, I didn't download it all, but what you're gonna, here, I'll show you guys on my other folder that I've got, my real folder. So we'll go down here to the Perky. And once you pop this up, now be prepared because this is one heck of a patch. And the reason it is, is because this has all of the custom stuff into it. So it'll probably take a couple of minutes just to run the entire patch. But once you get all of this stuff downloaded at that point, you'll just click play, log in with the server that you got, um, or the server username that you got right here on the left side that you did for login server accounts. And then you'll click and, and select Perky Crew. So let me get into that. So you'll scroll down into the white servers. You'll click Perky Crew right here. Click play. And of course, the next step would be um, you creating your character race and class. Um, I won't have to do that because I've already got a character selected over here, my only character. And uh, from that point, you log in, you will be directed to Plane of Knowledge and uh, we'll see you out there. So the last thing I'm gonna go over is the actual website for the server itself. So right here, you're going to have as much information that is on here. He did say that it was kind of a bare bones look into it, but realistically, this is a lot more than you're going to find on most of the actual uh, servers themselves that are on the emulator servers as far as websites go. So consider it your own personal wiki for uh, the server, and that's going to be perkycrewserver.com. Um, you more than likely you you may run into an issue that you sent a request for the email to be sent to you to verify your account at EQMU. Uh, and I will say that it took me about five minutes to find <laughs> the actual link to get it resent over to my email to where I could actually log in to the emulator server to be able to even start and get my login created. So if I can find that link again, I will send it over um, on the comments or in the description of this video. That way you guys won't have that same issue, have to use like a separate email or whatever it may be. So if you have any questions, please feel free to give me a comment. Um, if not, I will see you guys out there on the server and you guys have a fantastic Christmas. Thanks all.